Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. I love rye whiskey. I love bourbons, but I love rye whiskeys too. And I have the Colonel E.H. Taylor, not the small batch, but the straight rye whiskey. Very hard to get, supposedly very good. I never tried it. It's a brand new bottle. I'm very excited to have a, have a taste of it. So we'll open this guy up today. And to the right of me, I have the Korean spicy fire noodles. I just made them downstairs about 15 minutes ago or so. I put some uh, Korean barbecue brisket on top to, to add some protein. So we'll try it out. Try the whiskey. Is it worth the price? Is it worth the chase? And then I'll have some noodles and I'll share my thoughts with you. So let's get started. Let's open this guy up. All right. I love Colonel E.H. Taylor, the small batch. Um, I did an episode on it already. But um, this one's a special one. This is straight rye whiskey. You don't see it anywhere. It's very hard to find. And when you do find it, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So let's try it out together here. All right, here we go. All right, let's pour this guy out. smell the rye already. All right, there we go. A um, little background on the Colonel H. Taylor. Uh, you know, a lot of people love this whiskey. They usually are familiar with the small batch, not the rye. But Colonel E. H. Taylor was actually a real person. I think back in the I don't know, hundreds of years ago when the American Civil War, I think he was an actual colonel. And after the war ended, I think he bought a distillery and start making booze, start making bourbons, rye whiskey or whatnot. And, and to this day, I think they still make it the same way that uh, the uh, the Colonel used to make it. So now they're owned by Buffalo Trace. And I think uh, this is one of the few rye whiskeys that Buffalo Trace carries. So before I get into the nose and the taste, um, this one is 50% alcohol, 100, 100 proof. It's a bottled in bond, so usually bottled in, bottled in bond for those who are not too familiar with, uh, with the lingo, it means at least four years old and it's bottled or it's made in a same distillery in a one season, I believe, in a same warehouse that's regulated by the federal government or something like that. So it um, has some criteria as you know, in order for, for the whiskey to be called bottled in, in bond. But the main point is that it's 50% alcohol, 100 proof. It's not too hot, not too weak. So it's right at the middle where a lot of people really enjoy. All right, let's go for a nose. Very familiar scent. It's like vanilla. I do smell the mint. Yeah, it's like a fresh cut grass, like fresh cut um, like tree leaves or something like that. Very gentle, very light. All right, let's go right in. Cheers. Mm. Wow. The first thing I notice is it's very oily. It's very, um, it's very uh, rich. As it's, as it's going down, as it's coating my, my innards of my mouth, very rich, very oily. Oh, I like that. Um, it has some vanilla, it's familiar tones from its brother, um, you know, small batch. Let's go for a second sip. Yeah, like gentle vanilla. And there it is, there's a, like a little bit of minty note from the rye. But it's very light. It's very light, very easy drinking. I thought it would have more kick since it's a rye version of the each Taylor, but it's, it's very gentle. Hmm. The finish is mediocre though. It's It doesn't stay with you too long. Actually, it's less than mediocre, I would say. It's already gone. Let's go for another sip. A 
vanilla, classic vanilla, very light vanilla, very sugary, very sweet, very sweet. A little bit of minty, a little bit of minty note, but it's not that strong mint note. It's not like, um, like there's some of the other ryes that I have that I drink. Pikesville, if you know of Midwinter Night Sram, obviously that one's pretty popular. They all have a decent kick to it. Not necessarily like the alcohol kick, but like a rye, um, like a peppermint, um, like a spicy kick to it. But this one does not, it has a very smooth kick of the rye. Um, it's like, it's like a, it was a, it's a bottle of small batch, uh, E.H. Taylor, and like someone dipped like a pine leaves in there for just a second to pull that out. That's sort of how I imagine in my head right now. I'm getting the more rye now, like honey. It's very sweet rye whiskey. It's very sweet, very unexpected. I thought it would definitely be more robust, but it's not. It's very gentle, very light. Interesting, very interesting. Not quite as, as I thought it would taste like, but. All right, let's go for the Korean spicy fire noodles before it gets too soggy or something. All right. See it? Again, these are, you, you get it at Asian markets and they're super spicy. I've had it many times before. I've had it with other whiskeys or sojis or beers or whatnot, uh, but never had it with the right whiskeys. Anyways. Got a little bit tough or it dried up a little bit while I was talking too much. All right, here we go. First white delicious. It's spicy, but it didn't really fully kick in, so I gotta keep going before I lose my my palate entirely to the spice. It tastes like I put like vanilla syrup in the noodles when I taste it with the with the E.H. Taylor rye. Pretty good. You know, I grew up on these noodles. You know, being a Korean American, um, we eat a lot of ramen or noodles in general, but this one, you know, when I was growing up, I really like spicy noodles. I used to eat this all the time when it first came out. Whenever there's, you know, not much to eat at home or, you know, you don't feel like anything, you just open this guy up and cook one up in five minutes and it's good to go. Always good, always dependable. I brought some ice. So I'm gonna put some H. Taylor with the ice and see how it tastes. And help me out with the spice too. Cheers. Ooh, like peach flavor. Like a fruit cocktail now. Not bad, not bad. Woo! Last sip. Oh, yeah, I do recommend trying out with the ice though, with a block of ice. It changes the flavor, it becomes more fruity, bring, brings out the fruitiness of it. For sure. It almost negates the uh, the alcohol, but I mean, it brings out all the flavors. I like it actually. I like it. Whew, my mouth is on fire. But anyways, well, there you have it guys. Colonel 
E.H. Taylor straight rye whiskey. Very, very sought after. Can't find it. Very rare. I think it's definitely worth 100 bucks or 150 bucks or so. I don't think it's worth uh, three, four, five hundred dollars, but that's your call. It has very good flavors, very multiple layers of flavors that I get. Excellent mouthfeel has that rich, oily, coaty mouthfeel without you know without having too high of a proof. Very good uh, flavor wise. I think uh, it's lacking in the finish department, but if you're okay with that, I think it's definitely a good rye whiskey to try. This curry and spicy fire noodles, it's burning my mouth, but no pain, no gain. This is delicious, I love it. It's good to have some kind of protein, like pork belly or brisket on top with um, with any kind of noodles, it's delicious. So, really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, block of ice with a little bit of rye whiskey, always, always good, always good. So try that out. So, thanks again everybody, I uh, appreciate it. I had a good time. If you get a chance, hit the subscribe button Hit the like button. Whew. Comment below if you have any comments or if you have any questions on on this episode or on the on the rye whiskey. Happy to happy to go over it with you. But otherwise, have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.